Welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you this interesting experiment of the candle in an electric field. As you can see, the experiment consists obviously of a candle that I'm going to light up and the candle is between two metal plates. Between these plates, a high electric field will be created because we're going to connect the plates to a high voltage power supply. This little power supply can provide between 10, 12,000 volts and is connected to a regular power supply. So we will see what is the effect of the electric field in the candle flame. The flame of a candle or a lighter, due to the high temperature, creates ions both positive and negative in the air. That is, the air is ionized by the flame. It does not become a plasma because the temperature of the flame is not very high. Maybe a higher temperature flame such as an oxyacetylene flame which reaches uh, 3100 degrees Celsius will produce a plasma out of the air with a lot of ions. But the flame of a candle is not hot enough. It is only 800 degrees Celsius in its more uh, hot part. However, it does produce ions both positive and negative. Here we have a scheme of the situation. There is the flame and some ions around it, negative ions, positive ions, and we have the two plates, negative and positive. Now, in addition to the few ions produced by the flame, the presence of an electric field ionizes the air and creates much more ions in this region. So the positive ions are attracted to the negative plate and the negative ions are attracted to the positive plate. So we will have a mass flux in both ways in this region that will create some kind of wind and the flame will distort and move in both ways. Here is my little high voltage power supply. As I commented before, it can produce 10,000 volts or more. Okay, so let me light up the flame and bring the plates together and I'm going to turn on the high voltage power supply starting at a low voltage there we go and slowly increase the voltage and you can see how the flame starts to distort because of the ion wind present between the two plates 
if we turn off the power the flame is again vertical let's turn on there you have it so I will increase the voltage and therefore the electric field and you can clearly see the effect of the ionic wind in the flame if we turn off normal flame turn on wind on the flame off on for the metal plates I am using the plates of a hard drive it is not necessary though you can use any metal object for example a piece of aluminum or any other metallic plate it will work just fine so there you have it I hope you liked this experiment if that is the case please visit my Patreon page thanks for coming to my channel and see you in the next video.